Are you tired of dropping your phone when listening to your favorite audiobook? Do you struggle getting internet connection when doing your favorite leisure activities? Do those pesky headphones keep falling off your head when you're roller skating down your employer's hallway? Do you accidentally throw away the dishes out of frustration when trying to listen to your new favorite author? We feel your pain, and we have an excellent suggestion for you. Play Away, the all-in-one audiobooks, perfect for busy literary audiophiles on the go. Its sleek, aerodynamic design won't slow you down as you explore your favorite literature. Whether relaxing in your favorite reading spot or keeping up with your active lifestyle, Play Away is the perfect audiobook format for you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by our podcast again today. We really appreciate it. We are TEI Landmark Audio. I'm your host, Tori, my co-host, Mark, and we have a couple of other colleagues here with us today. This is Hannah. Hello. And this is Anne. Hello. And uh, we're changing the format up just a little bit today. We're going to try kind of a round table discussion. And once again, we're going to be covering playaways. And I can hear the eyes rolling. Playaways again. Seriously, we are truly promoting the playaway product because we know the benefits. We know that there are a lot of libraries out there that don't really understand the whole playaway concept. And there are some libraries that just are unfamiliar with playaway in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to be discussing the playaway audiobook format from a number of different perspectives, the millennial, the parent, and you know, we'll, well get some, whatever of, I am. some of the long-haired old men in here to see if they can uh, offer their opinions and their uh, perspectives on the playaway as well. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, just very briefly, Playaway Audiobook is a self-contained audiobook. It's about the size of a deck of playing cards. I'm certain that Evan will do a cutaway so you can see what the product looks like before he uh, find, does the final edit on this broadcast. And uh, it is absolutely remarkable, uh, the response that we're getting from the Playaway Audiobook, and we really want you to understand uh, what's available now. One of the primary reasons that we're having this conversation today is because we are very much aware, just as I'm sure you are, that the CD audiobook format is being phased out, you know, the same way that cassette was phased out uh, uh, previously. And we want to make sure that everyone is able to keep up with the times, still offer a quality physical audiobook format uh, to their patron base because there are patrons that do not have the time, the patience, the inclination, or the equipment that will allow themselves to download audiobooks onto their own personal devices. And the Playaway is a great center step uh, between the CD format and the downloadable format. And uh, so let's go ahead and start the conversation, shall we? All right, Hannah, if you don't mind, dear, we're going to start with you okay. uh, as, as a millennial. Uh, from that perspective, what do you see as the benefits of play away format? Um, so I I do know uh, that you know playaways are obviously really good for people who don't have smartphones because they can't take advantage of downloadables. So that would be you know really young children, uh, people with special needs, and elderly people. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, when we were talking about that last, I was like. You know, I, I know at least a handful of people my age that choose not to have smartphones mm -hmm. just because it's it, they find that they have better connections with people, it's less distracting. Um, so there are a lot of people that just can't take advantage of downloadables. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, even though it's a big trend, it's it leaves a lot of people out. And I know, you know, when you mentioned something, you know, um, that kind of piqued a thought for me, when you said kids, mm -hmm. all right, I know personally from my own personal experience, I have a, a fistful of great nephews and nieces, and I would be perfectly willing to hand over a playaway audiobook, and I am not going to be handing over my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I mean, they're three six and four and five years old. Six-year-old phone yeah. to a six-year-old. Exactly, uh, exactly, and the playaway is basically indestructible. Mm -hmm. Well, and not to mention, oh, a lot of kids, even though they may have their own smartphones and tablets, they may not be allowed to have them in school. Uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't quite a decade ago that I was in high school and I a lot of places you just can't have your smartphone out because um, mm -hmm. teachers will crack down on it so the mm -hmm. play away is a good alternative for 
for kids who need to use that in school or you know for just a general lack of access if you don't have wi-fi if you don't have a phone charger or, uh, access to electricity mm-hmm. at the time it's a big a big thing i know mm-hmm. my, my phone battery dies all the time <laughs> right and uh you know the play away audiobook is uh battery driven you know so there you don't have to worry about recharging it you might want to keep an extra um, battery or two laying around you know but uh yeah you don't need any electricity unlike with a traditional cd audiobook where you have to have some sort of power unit to help generate it and, and additionally in regards to supporting you know, the, the younger audience, not necessarily the millennials, but you know, the ones that are, that are younger. Um, the Play Away audiobook is a great way um, to help bolster the confidence of the struggling, uh, the emerging, and the reluctant reader. Mm-hmm. So you brought us some excellent points and I appreciate that. All right, and, so. And also speaking of batteries, uh, I, I use Play Away <laughs> as my preferred method. Uh, of listening, and uh, I'm finding I'm getting two, unless it's War and Peace, but I'm getting two to three um, titles that I can listen to on one battery, one AAA battery, um, on a device. Mm-hmm. So they're very economical as far as battery usage. Excellent. And what, as you know, speaking for our generation, then, um, what do you see as some of the primary benefits of the Playway format? Well, as I said, I, I prefer them. I, I use them exclusively in my car. Um, I have a CD player in my car, uh, but I also have an aux jack. And I prefer the Playway f- for traveling because I'm not fumbling with CDs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a single device. If I want to listen to a CD that I have in my car stereo, I don't have to, you know, pop out the book to put a CD in. I just, you know, I can I, I can toggle between my Playway and my CD player for my music. So it makes it much more convenient. Uh, you, you get home from work, you're in the very critical moment of the title you're listening to. You're gonna sit in the garage, you're gonna sit in the driveway, or you can just take your play away, put some earphones in, go in the house, jack it in your stereo in your house if you want to, but you're not locked to your car. Yeah. And we, we've, we've all had those what NPR calls driveway moments when you're in the middle of the story and you end up sitting in the car, you know, so you can finish up the last of the story. So, yeah, the, right. the play away is definitely a way where you can continue the story without interrupting what you're doing. Right. And, you know, that's a great point about um, about not having to use your the, the data on your phone. Um, Because I know, especially for uh, people that that travel uh, a lot, people that commute to work, like I, all of my music on my phone is through Spotify, so I use a lot of data that way. If I want to listen to an audiobook, I don't want to use up all of my data. Right. It's at a premium. Right, exactly. And there are a lot of uh, digital downloads. You know, there are some digital download platforms where, you know, you check out that book for a certain amount of time. And once that time expires, that book is gone. All right, so that's uh, that's another great thing about the play away is you know that as long as you've got that unit, you're going to be able to use it, you know, for the duration of the checkout period, right? Right. All right, so, Anne, yes, as, sir. As, as a mother and just an otherwise lovely individual uh, passing through life, uh, why don't you go ahead and give us your perspective as a mother, uh, as a, um, you know, an education tool? Uh, I would probably start um, the, ver- the very first thing that hit me when I saw a physical playaway was um, its simplicity. Um, I have a child with special needs, specifically on the autism spectrum. So, um, you know, you swing a purse and hit somebody with autism. You know, we have to have a sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. He is um, very um, into anything with a case, Mm -hmm. and so even though those come in a case, the physical component that um, the kids can hold them, it looks like a tiny book. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like book jewelry, literary jewelry, if you will, Mm -hmm. um, for the little girl. Um, But uh, I would probably use that with he and or his older sister, who are both early teens now, but I would probably use that as sort of a transition for moving from kind of the analog print book world, DVDs, situation like that, and and trying to foster his independence Mm -hmm. as far as um, the handling of it. It, The simplicity is is nothing different than a little portable um, CD player that he carries around. So that's very simple, yet still sort of in the analog world. And then 
I would feel that I would feel comfortable later on when I think it's age appropriate that he could foster a, a I don't use a smartphone, so <clears throat> whether he could have his own or you know, that's neither here or there, but um, probably something along the lines of, um, I don't know, moving into my downloading things for him first mm -hmm. and whatnot. But as for right now, he's, um, even though he's, like I said, a um, an early teen, um, mentally, he's more probably in the realm of a 10 or 11 year old. Mm -hmm. And I, I really am not comfortable with giving a 10 or 11 year old a smartphone. Yes. So yeah. um, that time will come. But for now, I like it. I like Playaways as the, the tangible feature. Um, the kids like to be able to hold something, to have it, to feel like it's theirs, you know, the few possessions that they have. Mm -hmm. And then again, not have to give it back to the library. Exactly. They so choose. Exactly. And for those, the, 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 the struggling reader, the emerging reader, the auditory learner, um, you know, I, we cannot stress enough what a fabulous combination a playaway audiobook is with its corresponding read along, um, because that gives them the opportunity um, for further uh, skill development, uh, pronunciation, phrasing, word recognition, and so on. Um, so um, for those of uh, you libraries that would like to support that particular venue, um, we do sell book bundles with the Play Away and the Read Along package together. However, you want to keep that in mind at your own library too. Uh, because as long as the title is available in Playaway, you can get those that correspond with titles that you've already got at your library, and you can package together your own book bundles as well. And it's been shown that when you uh, combine uh, the auditory and the visual intake of information, there's a 50% uh, increase in uh, retention. Yeah, 50%. That's huge. And you know that's that's particularly helpful actually for uh, individuals who are dyslexic. Um, my boyfriend is dyslexic, and he li solely listens to audiobooks. He will not read a physical book because he struggles with it so much. Mm -hmm. um, so he and he drives a truck for a living. So he loves to have playaways with him on his on his uh, drives because um, that way he doesn't have to again use his data or use his phone battery. He can just plug it right into the the radio in the truck. Mm -hmm. There is so much more information that we want to share with you, and we're certain that you've got questions that you want to address um, for your own personal library situation. Which could be possibly answered by the other podcasts that we have. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you can um, you can go to YouTube and type in TEI Landmark Audio, and a series of podcasts will come up. And this is like our third or fourth uh, podcast that we've generated on the Playaway specifically. So there's a lot of good information already out there. However, nothing beats a one-on-one -on -one conversation to make sure that we are addressing your specific inquiries because, you know, every library situation is different. And as we've said in all of the podcasts that we've done so far, we are not aggressive salespeople, all right? There's no commission base here. Our our objective is to get quality information into your hands so that you can make a decision that's best for your library. You can call us and know no sales pitch, no pressure, no hassle, no kidding. And a phone call doesn't cost you a dime. So give us a call. Let's have a conversation and find out if the Playaway might be a good fit at your library. You can reach us at 800-850-1701 or Podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. Nice to know you weren't sleeping over there, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us. Please tune in again. We've got lots of great information to share. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.